Hello. So, cleft sentences. We're going to look at cleft sentences today. And they sound difficult, but they're pretty easy. All right, let's look at the definition. Cleft sentences, to put focus on subject or object. So change it between subject and object. Or to put emphasis on something. And that's the real key. To put emphasis on a certain topic, object, subject. Whatever we want to put emphasis on, we use cleft sentences to avail of that. It can answer a question, so an easy one. Who broke the TV? The simple answer, Letitia broke the TV. That's pretty simple. But with cleft sentences, we can change that around. We could say, it was Letitia who broke the TV, using it plus who. Or we could say, it was the TV that was broken by Letitia. So with this structure, we can change our focus. Focus is key. So let's look at the top. We've got a nice, simple example. I like skiing. Now, cleft sentences, what they do, what they mean, is that you break something up and you move them around. So for example, I like skiing. We're going to chop that in the middle and start off by putting skiing is what I like. So skiing is at the start now and I is at the end. Not so important. All right, here's the four ways to look at it. The four simple ways to look at it. The first two are the same. Let's look at these examples and see what we can find in those examples. I, let's start off with I. I didn't talk to the blue cat. So, it wasn't me who talked to the blue cat. Same meaning. All right, we'll put the focus on me. So, it and who. It and who. Those are key, key words there. We start off with it and in the middle we put a relative pronoun. Who or which possibly or that so it wasn't me who talked to the blue cat I didn't talk to the blue cat second one at that moment I started to worry so it was then so at that moment and then are the same thing that I started to worry so that's one structure we can use it plus a relative pronoun or using the word then Second two, number three and number four. You should leave your partner, okay? Some advice. What you should do is leave your partner. Same meaning, just a reconstruction of it using cleft sentences. Keywords are what is. What you should do is leave your partner. You should leave your partner. We're focusing on the what you should do. Same with this. I like the way my dog barks. What I like, so what I like is the way my dog barks. It's nice. We've got our what, our is, and we change the sentence around. So there we go. We have a little idea of what cleft sentences are and what we can do. So here we, here's your homework. What you need to do is your homework. You've got two exercises. Firstly, finish the sentence. A nice sentence. What I really love about Dublin is you finish the sentence. You can say that to someone. What I really love about Dublin is the beautiful park called Phoenix Park. And the second one, this is a little more difficult, transformation. We need someone to help us, not someone to criticize us. So I want you to rewrite that sentence using what. What, and use these examples here. All right, goodbye.